Hello my dear students. Welcome to the first module of the poem The Hero. The Hero was written by Rabindranath Tagore. Now in this module you will know more about Rabindranath Tagore and also you will learn to appreciate the poem. This is the picture of Rabindranath Tagore. I hope you all know who Rabindranath Tagore is. He is one of the great writers, one of the greatest writers of India. He has won the Nobel Prize for Literature. He is a freedom fighter. He is a dramatist. Um, and he was, he was a multi-talented person. Let's read something about Rabindranath Tagore. He was born in 1861 and he passed away in 1941. He was a renowned poet, educator, painter and freedom fighter. He won the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1913 for his beautiful collection of verses, Gidhanjali. He had a deep interest in children and wrote many poems about them. The Hero is a story-like poem about childhood dreams and desires. The speaker is a young boy who is inspired by the books he reads and wants to be a hero. He describes an imaginary journey with his mother where he displays great courage and saves her from dangerous decoits. The poem talks about how children dare to dream big and how in our imagination we are free to be whoever it is we want. Aunt. So, uh, this is about Rabindranath Tagore and his poem, The Hero. Uh, Rabindranath Tagore, how is he most famous for? What is he most famous for? He wrote our national anthem, Janaganamana. And he, he wrote many other books. He wrote many books for children. He was a great writer. Now, in this poem, The Hero, he talks about a little boy. He, uh, who has vivid imaginations. Even we have uh, imaginations and dreams, right? We also uh, at times dream that we are a superhero. We save lives like that. And this boy is uh, imagining that he was traveling somewhere in a, in a desolated place and he had to fight many decoys and save his mother from them. So let's see. The hero. Mother, let us imagine we are traveling and passing through a state and dangerous country, through a strange and dangerous country. You are riding in a palanquin and I am trotting by you on a red horse. It is evening and the sun goes down. The waste of Joradiki lies van and grey before us. The land is desolate and barren. You're frightened and thinking. I know not where we have come to, I say to you. Mother, do not be afraid. The meadow is prickly with spiky grass and through it runs a narrow broken path. There are no cattle to be seen in the wide field. They have gone to their village stalls. It grows dark and dim on the dry on the land and sky, and we cannot tell where we are going. Suddenly you call me and ask me in a whisper, What light is that near the bank? Just then there bursts out a fearful yell, and figures come running towards us. So this man is uh, this boy is telling his mother to imagine that they were on a journey to a strange unknown place. A barren place means uh, where there is a lifeless place, uh, where there is no much trees or um, or many plants or trees are not there. It's just like a desert. Only very few shrubs are there. Nothing else. In such, a, they are traveling through such a place, and they have lost their way. They don't know where they have reached. Actually, they don't know uh, actually uh, the place well. So, they are actually lost. And the mother is in a palanquin. And this boy is riding on a uh, red colored horse. A brick colored horse. And do you know what's a palanquin? See, this is a palanquin. In early times, uh, the kings, queens and 
all used to travel in this people will hold it and um, uh, king and queen will be sitting inside like this so this is called a palanquin and the boy was trotting near trotting means he was riding near uh, uh, by the side of his mother they were riding and um, they were going through this desolated place uh, here we have come across a few difficult words palanquin means see a kind of covered chair carried on poles by five or six people used as a means of transport in the past especially by women then waste a large area of land with a very few people plants or animals the waste here means this not the usual waste joradiki a place in bangladesh earlier it was a part of india now it is in bangladesh van means pale in color desolate means empty and sad looking barren means lifeless because there are no animals and uh, i mean sorry no plants and all and uh, stalls sheds for animals uh, the shelter of animals is called stalls so uh, in i think the boy is in, living in an olden time otherwise he would have imagined that he is taking his mother in a uh, porsche or lamborghini not in this palanquin so it might be uh, the story of uh, because um, rabindranath tagore was uh, living in earlier times maybe that's why the boy is dreaming about a mother traveling in palanquin and not a car uh, perhaps if it was today he would have dreamed taking his mother in a luxurious car so uh, the mother as they were traveling the mother was really frightened but uh, this boy was trying to comfort his mother mother do not be afraid and he was still he told that you'll be taking her to the right place and uh, the uh, uh, it was getting darker the sun was setting and it was getting darker and darker just then the mother asked what is the light over there seen uh, near the bank uh, by the time the boy was about to see what it was some figures they could not see clearly because it was getting dark they could see only the figures of people figures of men they shouted and they were coming towards them now let's see what happened you sit crouched in your palanquin and repeat the names of the gods in prayer the bearers shaking in terror hide themselves in the thorny bush i shout to you don't be afraid mother i'm here with long sticks in their hands and hair all wild about their heads they come nearer and nearer i shout have a care you villains one step more and you're dead man they give another terrible yell and rush forward you clutch my hand and say see uh, so uh, he's telling his mother mother when when you saw these people coming near me you sat crouched in the palanquin crouched means lowered the body uh, as if to hide from something without uh, looking into the outside world she crouched it she bent low and sat inside the palanquin and she started praying to god she started repeating the names of the god she prayed and she was shaking in ter terror she was really frightened and uh, the boy was trying to comfort her she to he told her don't be afraid mother i am here with you i will save you i am here with you but these people the decoits see how the poet has described the decoits they had long sticks in their hands their hair was all wild they did not cut their uh, hair or they did not do their hair well so Uh, these people with long hair and sticks on the sticks in their hands were coming nearer but this boy this little boy who was very bright, brave he was shouting to have a care have a care means be careful don't come near me if you step forward you are going to be dead uh, because i am going to fight with you and you all will be dead this boy was telling but there was a terrible yell they started Uh, they shouted and they were coming forward they did not stop there these decoits do you know what the meaning of decoits decoits means the thieves those who are hiding in the um, forest wood and um, barren area means desolated places those thieves 
those who are traveling through that way they will be robbing them and taking away all their money and things those people are called decoits the thieves or robbers ha huh. and what did the mother do the mother clutched his hand Ma mother clutched the boy's hand clutch means hold tightly hey boy for heaven's sake keep away from them i say mother just you watch me then i spar my horse for a wild gallop and my sword and buckler clash against each other the fight becomes so fearful mother that it would give you a cold shudder could you see it from your palanquin many of them and a great number are many of them fly and a great number are cut to pieces i think you are thinking i know you are thinking sitting all by yourself that your boy must be dead by this time but i come to you all stained with blood and say mother the fight is over now you come out and kiss me pressing me to your heart so the uh, what happened with the palanquin holders when they saw this people coming itself they uh, uh, they kept the palanquin down and they ran away the, and they hid in under the bushes they hid, hid beside the bushes bushes means uh, uh, small plants small thick plants which does not grow into much height that such thing such plants are called bushes thorny means it has uh, like thorns just like a needle it has a thorn so thorny they hid under the thorny bushes so there was only this boy to fight the uh, decoys his mother told him for heaven's sake don't keep away from them let's run away don't uh, go and fight with them you are going to lose but this boy was not ready for that he spar his uh, horse means make the horse go faster and made a gallop gallop means a strong jump the moment of a horse at its fastest speed that is galloping he made a gallop and he started fighting with these people many of them had to run away because of this boy's brave fight they rab the decoys many of them they ran away and those who were others were cut into pieces they were killed and he was asking his mother mother that day did you see could you see me fighting with these decoys fighting bravely with these decoys maybe you will not see, you would not have seen it it uh, the fight was really fearful if you had seen it, it you would shudder you, you would tremble out of fear and uh, they had all uh, the those who were alive they ran away they fled away and the others were killed uh, you might have been he is asking his mother you might have been sitting inside the palanquin thinking that your boy is dead no mamma see your boy is alive i have i have i'm stained with blood i have fought all those people alone and now mother come come and kiss me and he was telling Uh, the mother came out she kissed her and pressed her pressed him tight to the heart tight to her heart and you say to yourself i don't know what i should do if i hadn't my boy to escort me a thousand useless things happened day after day and why couldn't such a thing come true by chance it would be like a story in a book my brother would say is it possible i always thought he was so delicate our village people would all say in amazement was it not lucky that the boy was with his mother so this boy is imagining all these things he is telling uh, the mother would have told him mother had told him oh if if my boy wasn't with me what is what will be my case what will be my condition i would have been dead by now these decoys would have killed me if i don't have my s boy to escort me escort means take someone somewhere especially when protect when protecting them so in order to protect them going along with them is called escorting if my boy hadn't escorted me i would have been killed by now uh, the mother told and the boy is telling who oh, a lot of useless things useless dreams come true but why couldn't such a good dream good imagination good desire come true if if it came true my brother would say 
I thought you were so delicate. Delicate means soft, not so strong. But you are really strong, my brother would say. The villagers would say, oh, it is, the mother is so lucky to have a boy like him. The mother is so lucky to have a boy by her side when she was traveling. All these things are boys imagining. See, so did you like the poem? The poet has beautifully described the place, described the people, described the decoits. They had long hair. They had stick on their head. They, he has described the bravery of the boy. See how beautifully Rabindranath Tagore is telling a, a poem. Uh, see, he has written the poem just like a story. And one more thing, the boy was thinking that if these all things would come true, it would be just like a story in a book. Everyone would be loving to say the story to everyone. So that's a, that's a poem. Read it well. Now this is a short summary. The hero depicts the imagination of a boy about the journey of his mother and himself. They are traveling through far off foreign lands. The son is riding on a chestnut horse and the mother is in a palanquin. On the way, when it gets dark, suddenly they are attacked by dacoits, that is bandits. The mother gets scared and asks her son to flee. Flee means run away. But the boy gallops his horse and fights a fearful battle. His mother remains in the palanquin, afraid to look outside, thinking that her son might have been killed. Some of the dacoits are killed in the fight and the rest flee. The boy then returns to her mother, to his mother. The mother is overjoyed to see her son alive. She hugs him. It is the dream of every boy to be a hero in the eyes of the world, especially his mother. He does not want the world to think that he is weak or delicate. He wants the world to acknowledge his bravery and valor. Valor means um, grace. Uh, the stories of his uh, bravery. He has a faithful and sincere love for his mother proved by his willingness to save her at the cost of his own life. It is this, says the poem, that transforms, transforms him into a real hero. So that's a summary. Now these are the questions. Try answering them. That's all. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Take care.